Hey everybody, welcome back. I've been looking for a pool tester for quite some time, but to be honest, I couldn't justify spending 300 bucks on a pool tester. I didn't want one that badly. Then I came across this one on the Tinter web. For 35 bucks, I figured, what the hell, let's take a chance on it and see how it does. It comes with pH test kits. It also came with an instruction manual that wasn't worth a damn. So hopefully I can help some of you figure out how these things work. But first, we need to clean the pool. Well, I say we. Mandy's going to clean the pool. Another glorious day in paradise. It's actually pretty cool today. It's only 34. I need to clean the pool with all the wind we've had. There is quite a bit of sand. I have no idea where it's come from, but it's in. So what I'm going to do is just scrape the sides and then I'm going to go down to open up the chickens and see if everything's okay down there. And then I will come back and connect the pool cleaner. You need to do it manually because the robotic one has died a horrible death, sadly. So really all I'm doing is just getting right to the edges because the, the sucker thing, the vacuum thing that I use doesn't go right to the edge. Between you and me, I really miss the robotic one. It was far easier just to push him in the pool and let him get on with it. But that's not to be. After the rain that we had the other day, which was wonderful, we had about three inches of rain, I was a bit concerned that the pool would go green again because that's what happened last time. And typical because as we got visitors, but so far we don't look like we're going that route at the minute. There seems to be no traces of algae, which is a good thing. So, cabana boy, or the cabana girl, will just keep at it. One thing I'm quite grateful for is the cicadas have gone now. At least I can hear the birds rather than those screechy things. Something you might not know is uh, our pool doesn't have a shallow or deep end. Well, I lie. This is the shallow end. <laughs> then it just drops down 1.8 meters and it's like that all the way. I think I've got most of it. While I let the dust settle there, I am going to go down and let my chickens out. Open up the hoop house because that gets extremely hot. Right, I'm off to go and get the pipe and set it up to clean the pool. I'll be back. I know I must probably look like a spastic. Cloud makes it look so damn easy. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Might have to cut that out. All right, what I'm really doing is I'm trying to get this. Uh, I need to fill the pipe up with water. which will be over here, but I have to just go and turn my alarm off quickly. All right, what I'm doing now is I need to fill the pipe up with water so we don't have air bubbles when I flip it across to start vacuuming. 
So I'm going to one of these things that shoot out the water. Don't know the name of it again. I can't remember. Yeah, I always struggle with this. The way I know that the pipe is actually in almost full is uh, it'll start going under the water. Apparently, if those bubbles go through the motor, it's not so good for it. I've got it in the hole. Now I need to fiddle with the... This valve here is the bottom drain. So you close that completely. This valve here is the weir closest to us now. This valve here is the weir closest to the bra. So you close that one, not all the way, but about there. And then you vacuum in through this closest weir. Okay. All right, we should be good to go now. I like my new pole, Batman. Way better than the last one. Not sure if anybody else has had an influx of bees this year. We've had bees, wasps, and hornets, but bad. I got stung again this morning. They seem to have actually disappeared now. Well, not disappeared. They're back to sort of normality, so I don't know if it was just a couple of swarms passing by. Oh, hello. certainly is easier cleaning the pool and you can see the bottom. It wasn't much fun when we had all that algae in it. It's like driving a car blind. Alright, that looks a lot better now that all the mud is out it. Job done. New toy. Tide was brought home. Okay, so it's the next day. Mandy took that long to clean the pool. I'm going to get slapped. <laughs> now, I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube. There's not that many, but I've noticed that a lot of people have been commenting that they really struggle to get the Bluetooth connected. I struggled as well, I have to be honest. I figured out what the problem is. It pops up a message when you first launch the app about allowing cookies. So by default, I never allow cookies. It turns out if you don't allow cookies, Bluetooth will not connect. First thing we've got to do is we've got to calibrate it. The way we do that is also you need to use distilled water and drop a sachet, the 4, the 7, and the 10, into the water as your base for testing the pH. So we'll just mix it up now. Now in the video I watched they used a chopstick, but I don't think it'll make a difference if we just use a spoon. Switch it on. Now to calibrate you're supposed to hold the calibrate button for five seconds. There we go, calibrate. Okay, so that's four. It's four, yep. Now that should read seven. Oh, fuck. See, I don't quite know what I'm doing. 6.8 is that? Missing all the water. 6.8. Yeah. Is that close enough? 6.9. Okay, it says it's 6.8. 
Let me put it maybe in the tin. Maybe. Chop it up? No, 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 because then it's a different solution. So it's almost like 9.7. 9.8. I think that's close enough. Eh? What the hell? Mandy's just clocked that the readings are out slightly because of the temperature. At 25 degrees it should read 7. Every time you launch the app, it wants to know where the hell you are. Okay, so it's unconnected. So we've got to hold the... There we go. Now it's connected. You can see B-L-E-Y-C-O-1. So it's connected. Right, let's go and stick it in the pool and see what we get. Okay, so give it a few seconds to acclimatize. Six the one thing that didn't come with a string. Okay. So it's saying pH is 6.2. Can you see that? Yeah. So pH is showing 6.2 parts per million for chlorine is 1460. Don't even know what it should be. Yeah, what that reading is, not sure about that, so I'll have to do a bit more reading. But the pH is close to what it needs to be. We've been very low on pH, I've noticed. Okay, so after doing a bit more reading and realizing that the pH of 6.1 is too low, Therefore, this meter does not give you the chlorine reading. That's why it's in red dots. Uh, millivolts, not sure. 1450 parts per million, not sure. The manual was rubbish. Okay, so I've thrown in some pH plus. The pH reading's gone from 6.1 to 6.4. It's still not where it needs to be. And unfortunately, the pool shop's now closed. So I'll have to nip out on Monday morning and pick up some more pH plus. Hopefully I can then get the pH up to 7.2 and then we should get some readings for chlorine. I will do a follow-up video when I've got a better understanding of how this pool monitor works and if it was actually worth spending 35 bucks on. Remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to make sure you get notified when we drop our next video. Until the next time, stay safe out there. Cheers. Ciao.